This is an animation zooming into the Jakobshavn ice stream on the western flank of the Greenland ice sheet. The Jakobshavn ice stream is one of the fastest glaciers in the world, moving at about four miles a year. Now the animation pauses um, to show melt lakes in the darker melt zone of the Greenland ice sheet. These melt lakes form when melt water accumulates in the undulations that exist in the surface of the ice sheet. The ice surface has basins and troughs and valleys, and the water accumulates, forming ponds. Now, as we zoom in closer, you can see the main ice stream on the right of the screen flowing into the area where the icebergs calve, a tributary to the left, and the drawdown of slower ice indicated by the smaller arrows in the center of the screen. Now, the calving front, which is where the icebergs break off into the sea, off of the floating part of the Jakobshavn ice stream was stable from about two, from about 1950 to 2000, 2001. And then in about 2000, the ice front started to retreat about a mile a year, so that after five years, it had retreated five miles. This was the equivalent of the previous hundred years, and nearly all the floating ice was removed at this time. Now, in response, the ice sheet accelerated as this barrier to flow was removed and the ice was free to discharge into the sea. It doubled its speed to about eight miles per year. And as a result, the surface got thinner and thinner, as you're seeing in the blue and purple colors on the edge of the ice sheet near Jakobshavn. Now, the red shows slight thickening as more snow has fallen, but the blues and purples show areas of thinning, which are widespread throughout the entire ice sheet. And when we look at the ice in this way, in this view, as part of the global system, we start to be able to understand how it's behaving and in what areas it seems to be most vulnerable and what areas are changing the most. And this view helps us figure out what the ice sheet is doing and what it's contributing to sea level rise.